Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. One day, people are going to ask, why has all this evil befallen us? And I'm talking about the white, formerly Christian Western nations of the world. Well, in one word, forsaken. Turn your King James Bible to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Now, this is where we were years ago. And it shall come to pass, if... Thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. When we were upholding the laws of the Lord and honored him in his name, Weren't we above all the nations of the earth? Didn't we have the highest standard of living of all everyone? Indeed. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. You know, children. Not abortions, children. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kine, K-I-N-E, old English word for cow, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shalt be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Do you know that there was a time when the white Western Christian nations ruled basically the earth? Basically. There were times when no nation could come up against us and win. But that is going to change. Verse 8. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And honestly, people, I think the United States, we were given this land by the Lord himself. Verse 9. The Lord shall establish thee an holy people unto himself. Yeah, well, we're not a holy people anymore. We're an unholy people. As he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. Do we keep the Lord's commandments? Do we walk in his ways? No. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. Well, that's not anymore, is it? Nope. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and in the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and, uh, I'm sorry, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. The heaven shall give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, Oh, yeah. You know, without rain, 
you don't have any crops. The Lord promised rain. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Boy, that's changed, hasn't it? And the Lord, verse 13, And the Lord shall make thee the head, and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. So don't just talk about them, you got to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Oh boy, now here comes the punchline. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, if you won't listen, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh, people, listen up. This is like the newspaper hot headlines today. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation and rebuke and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me should we read that again yes the lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me the west europe uk and the ussa we have forsaken the lord verse 21 the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he hath consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, war, and with blasting, and with mildew, mold. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish wow it sounds like the lord means business here what do you say what do you say and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass uh you don't get water from brass do you and the earth that is under thee shall be iron the lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down a upon thee until thou be destroyed you want to look up something interesting look up the dust bowl of the um i think it was the 30s look up the dust bowl in the uh, midwest horrible the dust bowl didn't rain 25 the lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth and thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the air. Yep, 
your your dead body is going to be food for the vultures and unto the beasts of the earth and no man shall fray them away that's right they're going to pick your bones and there's not going to be anybody there to shoo them away the Lord will smite thee with the botch of Egypt and with the emeralds and with the scab and with the itch whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no man shall save thee. So don't be looking for Donald Trump. He ain't coming to save thee. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Why? Because you're going to build the house, but somebody else is going to take it and live in it. And your garden, somebody else is going to eat the fruit. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eye shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. A nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. It sounds exactly like today's headlines, don't it? So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore botch that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot unto the top of thy head. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Thou shalt carry much seed into the field, and shalt gather but little in, for the locust shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shalt neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy coasts, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olive shall cast his fruit. Thou shalt begat sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and fruit of thy land shall the locust consume. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Mm. Sounds familiar. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Why? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not, you didn't serve the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. You know, it's a cycle, people. Um, after I do a little bit of this, I think I'm going to do the book of Judges. 
you know, when people are poor and they're oppressed and they don't have anything, and, uh, and the only th way, thing that they have is to get on their knees and look up and beg the Lord. The Lord has pity upon his people and blesses them. And then they get fat and happy. And then they forget all about the Lord. And then the Lord will send a curse upon them. Oh, you don't want to serve me? And people say, oh, well, this is wrong for the Lord to do this. Well, let me tell you something. If you had a dog and you trained it not the crap in your house but the dog refused to go outside the crap you're going to leave that dog inside your house not me matter of fact I knew a guy that his dog would not go outside to go to the bathroom absolutely refused and the dog started to go take a dump and he grabbed it and tried to drag it outside and it tried to bite him you want you want you gonna keep that dog? I don't think so. And are we anything better than a dog that takes a dump inside the Lord's house? Are we? Are we? Verse 47 Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Yes. The Lord's people and the Lord have enemies. They're everywhere. They're on all social media. Even the ones that claim to be Christian. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show, nor show favor to the young, And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed, which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thine kind or flocks of thy sheep until he have destroyed thee. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates until thy high and fenced walls come down, wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. You know, people, I heard reports that Mickey D, if you don't know what restaurant I'm talking about, ask somebody. Take aborted babies and put it in with their burgers. This is prophecy that's possibly being fulfilled. Now, I've heard that. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying I've heard that. And I've seen scientific reports printed by the newspapers saying that they found flesh in burgers of a very large burger chain. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and I, of thy daughters, which the Lord thy God hath given thee in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left in the siege and in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thine gates. 
the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, and toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them for one of all things secretly in the siege, and straight wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. And guess what, people? This happened. This happened in the days that Jerusalem was besieged, I think by the Assyrians, and probably again with the Babylonians. And I think it's going to happen again, but verse 58, if thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sickness, and of long continuance. Moreover, he shall bring upon thee, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. What diseases were in Egypt? Take a look at the plagues, the darkness, the plague of the frogs, the locusts the flies and their disease all the plagues that under you know that Moses warned Pharaoh of, well that the Lord gave Pharaoh because of Moses and the people those were the plagues of Egypt moreover he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt which thou wast afraid of and they shall cleave unto thee and you know what, people? Take a look at the plagues of Revelation. In a lot of ways, they mimic the plagues of Egypt and the Exodus. There are some similarities, but there are some differences, too. And I've got a playlist on that. Sixty-one. And every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of thy God. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. Wow, that's some strong language there. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to naught, to bring you to nothing, and ye shall be plucked from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations, nations, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Your life's going to hang in the balance. And thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, evening. And at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way thereof I spoke unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwoman, 
and no man shall buy you. Why is all this evil forsaken? Uh, why is all this evil befallen us? Because we have forsaken the Lord thy God. All the plagues that God promised are coming upon the West. I mean, it's so obvious now. Obvious. Obvious.